Good morning, traders, fellow privateers. Welcome to the Asia Preview and the North American Wrap for the first real trading day of September. Summer is over, everyone is saying, although it sure doesn't feel like it outside. Extremely warm. As promised, we are going to start following and doing technical analysis on the medical and recreational marijuana companies in Canada and those that are listed in uh, the US. So here is Kronos Group. You can see the big down bar. Uh, Citron Research came out with a $3.50 price target this day. It dropped about 25% now has shot right back up not back you know it hasn't made the new highs yet but as we'll see in some of these other charts it looks uh, they still look very strong very bubbly uh, parabolic in nature very reminiscent of what we saw in the crypto space last all of 2017 so there was some news today Kronos gapped open higher um, see the news here there's an agreement to extract key compounds from cannabis so the medicinal uh, for medicinal purposes uh, here's another one that <clears throat> um, Citron research went out and shorted today actually um, probably somewhere around here it was up about 20% of the day and uh, making new all-time highs Let's see where it IPO back in July only a you know, a month and a half ago at $22, uh, you know, this thing has gone completely parabolic. Weed, if you remember Weed, this is the uh, Canopy Growth Corporation out of out of Canada. Once we broke these old highs, which are all-time highs at 48.70, it's gone straight up. And uh, this is the company that Constellation Brands has in invested a, a large chunk in to develop cannabis infused drinks. Constellation Brands is the owner of Corona and many other major alcohol labels. Uh, so you get the drift. Here's a, a Chicago based Green Thumb Industries making new all time highs. It took out the it IPO down here around uh, doesn't even show on this chart. I put around I think 650 it opened up around 10 11 went up, came back down on that little sell-off in the middle of August, and now it's just gone parabolic. So <clears throat> all these charts are looking, um, they're looking extremely uh, parabolic in nature. Big believers in the space, especially the, the wellness factor, the medicinal factor. Um, you can see here, Illinois is about to sign a law that will allow cannabis as an alternative pain medication. Um, everyone knows about the opioid, um, the opioid crisis in the U.S. Um, this is a big, uh, this is a big deal for any and all of these cannabis-related names. So keep an eye on these. They're, they seem to be on everyone's uh, radar, and you can tell that the day traders are heavily involved. Uh, let's go over to Aussie. I'm still selling it. We did not get a bearish engulfing, but it was well, it was pretty close. We almost had you know a full outside reversal day. We got into the support area. There's big support between 45 and 60 on the 71 handle under there. Opens up kind of the 69 handle. Euro had a nice bounce. We'll look at it more intraday. You can see the, the long wick here. Went down, retested this 115.30 level, which, as we all know, was... Get rid of this horizontal. Um, this was the breakout... Well, let's go to let's go to 240. Let me let me pop over to 240. So 
So this 115.30, once we broke that in here, we went straight down to the 113, low 113s. It's been a great pivot. Once we got back above it, messed around for a day or so, and then shot up back up to the highs of 117.30. You can see what the low was today, right in here, right back to 115.30 another low here. So this, folks, is a break trade. It's kind of an interesting topping formation. Next time through, we'll sell it. In the meantime, I think it's in a range. Cable came under renewed selling after the news we talked about um, over the weekend. And We've got these lows here at 128 the figure, which looked pretty important, and then 128 12, 12 was today's low. So, watching that pretty closely, um, there was a bunch of we uh, out of Australia today. Uh, one more thing, we we do have GDP coming out in a couple hours, so um, <clears throat> we still like selling rallies, but we will also be selling new lows. And that dollar rand had a powerful day; it was about three percent. Um, all sorts of recessionary fears and, you know, just the dollar EM play. Here's dollar China. Came off the highs from last week. And, but, you know, hanging in there. Looks like it's kind of building some sort of base. And we draw this trend line here. It's not great. But... Powerful day up 3%. Dollar Max had a nice close, closed near the, near uh, some pretty important levels. Dollar Turkey, same deal. Um, dollar Brazil didn't do much today. Euro Swiss actually was a little perky. There's rumors today that the SNB is on the bid or at least buying Dollar Swiss and Euro Swiss. And you can see this big four hour bar here. It was pretty powerful. We had heard some rumors about it um, early, just before New York got in. You can see how that popped up. Um, as far as data, we reminder, we have the Aussie GDP coming out. Uh, it'd be nice to see a weak number and uh, a test of that 71.45 area. Below there opens up 69 handle. And then we have a lot of European PMIs, ISM number tomorrow in the U.S. So uh, plenty of data, and uh, we'll see how things play out. Uh, good luck trading, and we will speak to you on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.